hello and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna do um well we're redoing the hourglass block from the christmas quilt along i'm redoing it in harry potter fabric as a uh 14 inch block so it is the same thing you did before so i do apologize there are going to be several of those that i did in the christmas quilt along that i'm going to do in as in harry potter so I am going to film those. Again, it's a different size block. So, uh, if you're not good at quilting math, you might be interested in it. If you are, it's a duplicate. You might not want to watch it. Or you might just like to hear me talk. I don't know. So, anyways, to get started, we're going to need three fabrics. And I chose um, this one. And I didn't actually fussy cut it. I just kind of cut it how it laid. So, I, I got four 5x5 five five of that one. I chose this one, dark blue and black. It's uh, two five by five, and I have one here that is four and a half, or sorry, five and a half by five and a half. And then the red, I also have one that is five by five, and one that is five and a half by five and a half. So for the first uh, step, I went ahead and did it. I drew the lines, I sewed it into half square triangles. So I laid this down. Um, the quarter inch line there corner to corner and I drew a line and then I flipped it around and I did the same thing and then I sewed right down on those lines so I figured you watched me do it once you might not want to see me do it again if you did sorry okay so we're just going to iron these open and then um, we're going to trim them down to five inch squares and then we just have to put it together. I'm going to do several of this one. I got others cut, but I'm only going to do the one on film. And my son picked out gray and black for the background. He wants it alternating. Um, kind of like the Christmas quilt was. Two different, or three different backgrounds on that one. He picked gray and black. I was actually going to do Harry Potter on the back too. Just bigger squares of Harry Potter, but... He shot me down on that, so I, I've come to terms with it. <laughs> it is what I wanted to do, but it's not what I'm going to do. So now we're just going to line this up um, on the diagonal, and I'm just lining it up with uh, as close to the edge there as I can. These two edges, the outer two. Then we'll spin this around. So like I said, there I think there was six of them from the Christmas quilt along I'm going to redo in 14 inch blocks, Harry Potter fabric. Maybe a some I'll do others. I'm not sure. And then you're going to line up the diagonal again and you'll line up the five inch corner, which will line up the two five inch lines. Sorry, I didn't talk through that. We're going to do it one more time on this one. Line up the diagonal as close to the edges here as possible. I didn't close that. I have a bad habit of not closing this one. I don't recommend it. I'm going to spin it around. All right. And we'll line up the diagonal again. And the five inch point down here. You can't really see that. Let me move it up. Diagonal and the five inch corner. And we'll trim that off. So I think I'm going to keep that Facebook group open if you were in it. Oh, sorry, I shook the camera there. Um, I might change the name, you know, since it's not going to be the Christmas quilt along anymore. But I do believe I'm going to leave it up. Okay, so now we'll just lay it out and just like. The other one we're going to lay our corners are going to be the blue and they'll also be this blue this one will go in the middle now i do know oh no it did come out where they're they're all going i didn't even do that on purpose you guys i thought one was going to go the other way so i'm very excited about that my bow ties all all the lines are going the same way then we'll just lay this out just like that and now we're going to sew our rows together these two together, these two, and these two, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now because these alternate with this white fabric, 
well, not really white, but off-white. I am going to iron all of mine to that fabric. And then it will automatically alternate my seams. And then I won't have to worry about them lining up. They should just do it for me. <laughs> if it'll lay right. I wanted to get these done by Christmas, but well, you know, I didn't. So now, I don't know if you see this, but I have this one and this one backwards. And the only reason I know is because these are upside down. So I want it to be correct. And my bow tie is still intact. So now we're just going to bend this down. Fold it down, bend it down, whatever you want to call it. We'll pin it at the seams. Then one at the beginning and one at the end because I'm a pinner. I don't pin on small little pieces like these. When I sewed these into rows, I didn't pin. But I did when I started out because, well, I was afraid not to. But I'm a little more comfortable now. And I think I can manage without it. So we're just going to pin here and the end. And then at the beginning, and now I'm going to go sew those up and I'll be back to show you what the finished block looks like. Okay, we'll cut off my starter there. Now, I did iron this to the middle because then I don't have those right there. Not that that would be a problem. Because it really wouldn't. But And I actually wasn't sure I was going to like this, you guys. But I really like this. I hope he does too. I think he'll like it. But anyways, again, it is Hourglass in Harry Potter. 14 inch block. I do apologize for the repeat. I really do. But again, it's a different size and I thought maybe some people would like it. If you don't, I do apologize. Don't watch it. <laughs> I don't know. I have others planned, but again, there would be more repeats, but I do have others coming. So anyways, um, also if you have any requests or anything, let me know. I'm up for trying anything. I might not do it right, but <laughs> we can try it. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.